I don't know how much value I have in this universe, but I do know that I made a few people happier than they would have been without me. As long as I know that, I'm as rich as I ever need to be. Hey there guys, you're good buddy Eric from the Action Toys Town. Today we're doing more net peg replacements on figures that have not made it very well through the times. This is lukewarm water. We're gonna probably have to heat it up. Okay, we are, I've got I've got my peg. Okay, it's gonna go in. Okay, we're gonna push it in, we're gonna glue it, we're gonna pin it. Uh, the pin's gonna have to go through here, unfortunately, so it's gonna have to be fairly deep. But in the first place, this pin or this uh, piece didn't go very deep in the first place. Um, I'm gonna see if this will. I just wanted to make that just a little indentation so that I could take something uh, um, so I could take a screw I could take something and pop pop a hole into it so what you do is just take something like this something that you can heat up push it through rope move it all around okay so take your, your little I've done this multiple times now um, no guarantee that it'll work with the same every time, but you just want to make sure you can puncture a good hole in there. Not bad. You see all the flex on there from other projects. Okay. So, from what I can see here, this is all one solid piece. Okay, where'd that little peg go? So we're gonna see how far in I can make it go. Okay, oh, put this back in the center. Okay, okay, so that's our, our guessing spot. Okay. Okay, so we gotta get this out of here. Okay. Okay. Once I gotta get something that's dry. Okay. I just need to grab a paper towel and dry this off. Dry my hands off. Dry the head off. Okay. So now, normally I would use a Phillips head screwdriver for this, but I've misplaced mine. Okay. All right, so there we go. So, let's see, if we put this on like this, the head will be way too high. Okay, so we're gonna have to take that down a notch. We're gonna take this down right there. Okay, this is just trial and error at this point. Okay, that's still way too long. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff left and right here. Okay, that's still too long. Oh, that was just, oh, there's my Phillips head screwdriver I was looking for right there. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. Very carefully pull this out. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, family emergency averted. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna take this. We're gonna heat this back up. I just wanna get this in there so that I can make that more flexible and stuff. There we go. Okay. There we go. See how I get that, do that? There we go. We do that. He doesn't even want to push it in like this. Okay. Then suppliers, excuse me. Okay, you just want to push it in as far as you can. Okay, 
right, then you want to see how that's going to look. So. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. Not bad. So now we just got to pull it out. Okay. Then we put this in. Okay. And then this will be done. Okay. So there we go. Beautifully done. You will see that peg. Never. <laughs> but, um,. Always, if you're going to resell something that you repair like this, please remember to inform people that um, it's got a repair here, um, it broke when, you know. Just give it a little history because people don't like getting their toys and then find out later when they re-break them that they were already broken. And then people get angry. <laughs> okay, so here's our original peg. Okay. It was quite literally attached directly to the, the figure. So <clears throat> I always enjoy replacing these pegs and then like quite look at this better articulation up down. Like, he's got more range of, of motion now than he did before because it was so tight to the peg before or tight to the neck right there. As you see, I have a little bit of extra room there because of that. So now he got more articulation and we're happy and my son's gonna be happy he's gonna be happy he got this back all right guys until next time stay awesome Whoa.